Welcome to my quick test of my new Proteo VR uh, rifle stock for my Vive Wands. Um, excuse the bad video resolution, it's just because I set up the Vive mirror to view the right eye so you get a better side picture. So let's get this started. Let's start up onward first because this is the game I got this for. So. Let's take more sock and start with the designated marksman. Uh, let's use. Yeah, let's use the Mark 14. And confirm the loadout. Start the mission. At first, I'm gonna show you how how wobbly my aim is. Um, oh, okay. But I really have to watch out. It's losing the straps. I, I tend to, you know, just let them hang. Uh, when I need to do something, which I can't do right now. Okay, so there's the target range. This is my trusty rifle. So let's see how well we fare. As you can see, pretty jittery. Okay, but I can hit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, those shots are pretty difficult. So let's set up set it up in the pro tube. See if we can go. There we go. Okay. Okay. As of right now, feels much much more like a real gun. Instantly feels much more like a real gun. Has this cool effect. Okay, of my. Grip too too far back, uh, too too far to the front. Um, th that's uh, wor workable, but so uh, okay. So on a cheek rest, it's a bit low. Okay, oh, where's it's tiny. Eh? So I need to, to adjust this a bit. Get this a bit back. Okay, now, now it feels right. Screw it on. And then... Oh, well, I could just gun the cheek rest higher, couldn't I? Okay. I think that, that one screws a bit too tight. Well, let's, let's work like this. Let's work it like this. I mean, no cheek rest, but still, as you can see, much less sway, much less chitter. Oh yeah, it's like night and day. That's, that's pretty cool with that gun. Put in a single fire. Okay, so the stock will be here. So, took me a few shots to get it going. Let's see if it's set up correctly. Okay, can get much, much closer. Oh yeah. Okay, reloading's a bit awkward. Okay, it's, it's much easier to instinctively aim. Yeah, that was a bit high. Shit. Sorry, didn't know didn't notice everybody was dead. <laughs> okay, movement's different. There's a sniper uh, on the uh, southernmost hill, two-story building right in front of it. 
I'm down on the uh, next to the three-story building. Roger. Got an enemy coming up on me. He's on the roadside behind the rubble. Got the sniper. Too many VR games. Where is it? Mm. Hot, hot, hot shoes and hand grenades. So, okay, so one thing uh, that I noticed is uh, you're much more agile without a stock. You can point that, that, that. So, so it's actually pretty easy without the stock to quickly switch targets, which is much harder to achieve with a stock. So, Okay. Okay, got the trigger is too high for this gun in this game. Oh wait a sec. Let's let's bend it downwards again. Okay. Now that's an assault issue. So let's take a, a few shots. Yeah, it's pretty easy. But controlling an auto isn't. Okay. To reload, <laughs> it's better to just get the other control out. So let's let's take a. Is this a magnifier? I think it's just a magnifier. Right. Put those down. Now that's tactical. Oh yeah, magnified red. <laughs> so I I got the cheek wrist down, but then that's one thing that is a problem with this design. Or rather, generally, the design of gun stocks is you basically would need to set it up for each and every gun to get the perfect fit. Okay. So let's reload. It's easier to just drop it. So let's get a new set. Ah, okay. So let's try it without, without the stock. Okay, you can see much more chittery. So let's sure hold the magazine. Okay, that was the whole magazine. So we got uh 241 points. <coughs> so let's try it like this. Okay, find. Much, much, much easier. Okay, not, not, not that much more point, but I got two shots, two shots less. Why did I get two shots off? Uh, I don't care, don't mind. So, yeah. Let's just fire those two shots real quick. 
to get the same amount of points or the same amount of shots. That's substantial improvement. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is cool. See, okay. This is pretty cool. Uh, you need to sit with a stock physics based weapons that interact. Are much much more difficult to use. So it's actually a huge disadvantage if you have a, a long rifle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. So it does add a lot to the immersion. But I don't think, and, and and you're much more precise. I need to practice a tap more to be as Competitive as I was with a uh... oh, breach loader, cool. <laughs> Let's take a look at a different game then. One where I would have had really high hopes at a start, but bring improvement. And that is, um, Virtual Wolf Fighter. So let's play that in VR. So, nah, let's not use that one. Let's use the Predator. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So see, this is where I, I predict improvement. Is, uh, okay. Can't pick up my gun. So, this is uh, pretty ordinary stuff, isn't it? But if you're two handed, you can aim much more stable. See? It stabilizes the gun. But what you can't do is aim with the front side. You basically aim, just aim, uh, you can't aim with your front hand, you can just aim with your back hand. So, using a stock, which, where is it? There's the stock. Okay, that's the first cup, isn't it? No, there's not the first. Ah, it turned around. Okay, so. Which way is it? That way is right way up. So. Now. Because I don't aim with my right hand. I aim with my left hand. Okay. So, I can... Uh, more intuitively aim because I lead with my left hand. So. No pew pew pew. So, what I notice is that laser sights are much more useful now because they're much less jittery. Much more predictable. Also, you don't even need to two hand because you don't need the artificial stabilizing to have a stable shot. So the gun's pr <laughs> stuck's pretty much perfectly set up for this gun. I mean, the front the front group's a bit too too far front, but still, it's pretty cool. So let's try try out one more game and then. Give you a quick rundown on my first impressions of it in use. Okay, that's it. So let's do Overkill. We have Overkill VR, which had a full release recently. I don't know if my my uh, progress carried over. Oh, jittery, jittery. <sighs> Logan just kind of gives me a headache. No offense. We are locked on targets. Oh, then that's right. That's pretty nice. Area secured.
Oh no! Been defeated. But still. It's much more fun that way. So, I guess that's one more game to try out with it. That is Pavlov. Okay, this is a new map. It's experimental. As you can see, it's pretty basic in its layout. So, this, this reticules. It's pretty tough to use in a dark map like that. I think I got him. Got him again. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hey, he's shooting at me. Sniping is so much easier. Okay, I'm much more inclined to... to... It, it really... You're much more inclined to, to use proper... Oh no! I got knifed! <laughs> that was fun. What was I going to say? Yeah. Pretty, pretty much more inclined to... to uh, try to maneuver your gun around obstacles instead of through it. What do I think of it? A quick first test. Show me that I need to fill a bit with, more with it to get to get and practice more with it because it is quite different to just using two controllers. But there's potential to be much more accurate. Much more accurate. And snap aiming or, or intuitive aiming, it's much easier. But still, still, I need to learn some more, but uh, downside is, despite being fiddly, I need to basically readjust it for every weapon, or readjust itself for every weapon, because it rests differently, uh, acts differently, grips are different. Um, also, no straps for the, the, the wands, which I tend to throw around a lot. But still, this is... Yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I can hardly recommend it because it really adds to the immersion. Uh, yeah. And, and to be honest, it's also much, much more taxing to play. Because you have, actually, you know, I think it has about... You know, three quarters of a kilogram. So like a bit more than a pound. It's nowhere near rifle weight, but still, it's a substantial amount added to the to the wands. So yeah, pretty cool little gadget. Can hardly recommend it. See you and good night.